Hello friends. Wakeman here. We are living through the most decisive moment in human history. There is a clear separation of people who've chosen the love of the truth and rebuking the current frauds from people who've chosen to believe the deceptions and submitting to the narcissist establishment's trauma-based mind control. Despite many social platforms are trying to censor displays of such separation, alternative sites are created so the truth can be shown. Just like victims from narcissist abuse when they realize what has happened to them and choose to not fear their assailants. They now fight for their recovery and they expose those who have tortured them. Nowadays awakened people are doing just the same. What is happening in the world with all the frauds, gaslight and trauma based mind control has reached biblical levels where prophecies are all being fulfilled. People who rebuke the narcissist establishment are being inspired by the love of the truth and restraining the enemy's plan. These people are not thinking about themselves but considering the welfare of the entire humanity. They consider their families, children and friends. They're willing to rise for the occasion to fight and to restrain the plans of the enemy even if it may cause their own lives. There's no fear in them. They're walking in love and hope. And this is how they will be remembered, which is completely the opposite from those who have sided with the narcissist establishment's gaslight, deceptions, and trauma based mind control. How will you choose to be remembered? A coward who lives on his or her knees, or a hero who stands on his or her feet? What we choose to do now will impact what will happen to our soul. Judgment is coming, and the separation of people who have chosen the love of the truth and to resist the current frauds from people who have chosen to believe the deceptions and to submit to the narcissist's establishment trauma-based mind control is now being completed. The next phase is the hardest. How will you be remembered? I pray for God to give you the necessary discernment to choose consciously how you will be remembered in Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you. Please remember, Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. the problem going on? I, you're not supposed to pull your truck up till they actually walk away. Who? Who's they? The lady in front of you. And they're just trying to keep uh, everyone's social distancing. Who's they? Well, who? What? So we're just trying to keep everyone's social distancing, so we're asking that customers wait till the previous customers all right. paid and well, left. We all know it's a big crock of lies, all right? We just have to follow protocol and the, the government's agenda, and basically, uh, it's a it's a propaganda routine, you know. I'm not gonna argue. I, I get it, and I'm gonna continue to resist, and I'm I'm just done shopping here after this. How much money do I owe? Twenty-two fifty-four. All right, meh, meh, meh. Touched my hand. Did you see that? And if you guys are going along with it, it's going to destroy the American country. Do you not realize this? Is my food over there? All right, good deal. You guys have a great day. I will. Am I trespassed? No, Get a I'm document out and trespass me then. I'm not going to trespass you. Meh! 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 Meh!
See what's going on in our America? It's ridiculous. It's gotta stop. Be the resistance. Be the resistance. Don't put up with it.